We are just <coughs> roughly 20 hours away from the most unpredictable, most fast-paced WWE event of the seat of the year. The long odyssey, the journey to WrestleMania is about to begin. With this, the silver anniversary of the Royal Rumble, taking place tomorrow night from live from the old Scott Trade Center in St. Louis. In the gateway of the West, St. Louis, Missouri. In the shadow of the Gateway Arch, who will come out on top? Who's going to WrestleMania? And obtaining a championship match of his choosing. But let's look at the rest of the card first. Opening match, probably the opening match. John Cena against Kane. This one they're going to want to get out of the way ASAP. The whole gimmick plot line is that Kane has been pushing Cena's buttons, getting him to embrace the hate as opposed to rise above in hatred. As to who wins this match, if they're trying to turn Cena into a, from a calm, respectful, pacifist themed face, which most people are getting sick of these days, from what I've seen, Uh, oh yeah, hold on. <coughs> From what I've seen, anyway, whoever wins... Well, I don't see any point of Cena winning, seeing as how he's already got the, main, the big match on the card at WrestleMania in the form of a matchup with The Rock, the clash of the general... The Battle of the Generation. Honestly, I don't see any point in him winning, so I'm going to go with the Big Red Machine to prevail in this one. As much as I like Cena, his character has gotten a bit stale. Gotten a bit stagnant in recent years. Number two. Match two. Triple Threat, Steel Cage, Daniel Bryan, your current... World Heavyweight Champion defending against Mark Henry and the Big Show. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little pissed that WWE went this route with Daniel Bryan, turning him into a... going from lovable, meek, babyface to overly aggressive, yet extremely tower pussy heel. I mean, whiny, bitch heel champion. Just something I need to address. Is WWE now trying to copycat... Ring of Honor? Because last I checked, when Dan... You know, Brian was going under his real name, Brian Danielson, when he was in Ring of Honor, and <coughs> he held the title for over a year, and to the best of my calculations, the third longest title reign in Ring of Honor history. Didn't 
he pretty much employed the same ego I mean, character. I mean, don't get me wrong. I can get why the title is getting to his head. But it just seems so stupid to recycle something he hasn't used in seven and a half or six in se six and a half, seven years. Not to mention this heel attitude is not getting him over with the crowd. Now between Henry and Big Show, who wins it? Daniel Bryan's pretty much got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, but somewhat between Big Show and Henry, everyone wants Big Show. He's get he had nine years <clears throat> of frustration come to an end at over the edge and at TLC only to be taken from him. 45 seconds later, thanks to Mark Henry throwing out his fit, and then Daniel Bryan cashing in, taking advantage of it. Who wins? Daniel Bryan. He's going to find some way to weasel his way out of this one, too. Me as well. Like, say, <coughs> Henry and Big Show choke slam him, or throw or give him the world's longest, strongest slam from either the top of the cage or off the top rope through the ring to the point Daniel crawls out from under out of the cage underneath the ring where well either Big Show or Mark Henry go for the door and try to get out through get out through the door. It, it's the same thing that happened at No Way Out 05 in the barbed wire steel cage match between JBL and Big Show. <clears throat> I think that's how that one's going to end this this match. I'm going to take Daniel Bryan by hook or by crook to win to retain the title. Next match, CM Punk to defend the WWE title against Dolph Ziggler with John Laurinaitis, the special referee. Now. Laurinaitis last week openly admitted he wanted to screw Punk out of the WWE title. However, after receiving an ultimatum this past Monday night <clears throat> from the board of directors, first because of his abusive power, questionable decision making, questionable in my ass, it's more like blatantly biased. Which led to Zack Ryder getting injured, him losing the U.S. Zack Ryder losing the U.S. title, Punk getting screwed on more than one occasion by by Laurinaitis, or I should call him John Laryngitis. So here's the thing, Johnny, you better pray to God that tomorrow, that tomorrow night, that neither your brother Joe, A.K.A. Road Warrior Animal, or your nephew James are not in St. Louis, and if they see you try to screw Punk, they rip, they give, they plant, they put, lay a doomsday device on your ass. Some way, somehow, CM Punk is going to retain the WWE title. I can bank on that. Finally, the Royal Rumble match. They've reduced it to back down to 30 this year. Rules are as follows. Two men start the match. Every 90 seconds, another man comes in in accordance to the order of the number he pulls. It's every man for himself, no friends, only foes. Elimination only happens when a super wrestler goes over the top rope and both his feet hit the ground on the outside of the ring. What last man standing? Headlines WrestleMania. Now this year they said every superstar was eligible. That doesn't work. In my opinion, that does not work. Champion, the two major champions are usually, and their challengers are usually excluded from this match. <coughs> Save for, say, Kurt Angle back in 2005, or Dolph Ziggler and Randy Orton last year in the Rumble. But other than that, there is no reason for either Punk, Brian, Show, or Henry to be in the Rumble. Now, hold on. A 
anyway, um, with <coughs> that said, we do know that The Miz will be the first man in the Rumble match. He's going to be at the dis at the co-disadvantage. Because everyone makes a big deal about not wanting number one. You also don't want to be number two in the Rumble. Same disadvantage. You're going to have to fight it out with 28 other guys, including your starting opponent. 29 other guys. For at least 42 with your starting opponent and 28 other men for seeing the two of you for at least 42 minutes. I've gone over the math in my head. Personally, I don't like the fact they went back to the 30 formula. The 41, while over excessive last year, was actually quite good. For the most part. Okay. My choices, I've narrowed it down to four. Miz, Cena, Sheamus, and Orton. Why do I say Cena will win? Well, they could pull the trigger on Cena going heel at the Elimination Chamber by saying he doesn't want to, since he's got a match with Rock at WrestleMania, he doesn't want to wait till WrestleMania to, cap, I mean, to get his title match against Punk. And at the Chamber, he fights Punk for the title, wins, Rock shows up, at, shows up in Milwaukee, and then we get a WWE title match of the, the match the world has wanted to see. At WrestleMania between the two, Rock retires the title the next night. But that plot is going to be. But if that happens, the plot would be overly convoluted. So odds of Cena winning slim to none. If that and should the WWE go that route, I mean that route like they did in 08, I don't think they will. Because then, it gets rid of one of the Elimination Chamber matches. Specifically, the one to determine who becomes number one contender to the WWE title. Mania. So if they do go that route, Punk will probably retain. Anyway. Reason Miz is going to win. He's going to have to start it out from the... Start... He's going to have to start the Rumble. Only two guys have done it. Gone the distance from either the one or two spot each, and gone on the win. 1995, Shawn Michaels, first man in. 1999, though very controversial, Mr. McMahon, number two guy, was a number two man in the Rumble. 2004, even though hardly anyone wants to mention his name ever again, Benoit entered number one, lasted 61, one and a half minutes, And went to rest and won the Rumble match. Six years ago, the 2006 Royal Rumble, Rey Mysterio entered number two, went 62 and a quarter minutes, or just about that, in decking a victory <coughs> to Eddie Guerrero. Now, to be fair, Miz has not lasted all that long in most of his Rumble appearances. Longest he's lasted is, I think, 16 minutes in 2008. And he got eliminated by Hornswoggle that year. Shortest outing? 7 seconds in his Rumble debut in 07. But do I see him winning? Do I see him lasting a good while in the Rumble match? Yes. Look for Miz to at least make it to where all 30 men have gotten into the ring, or go at least 45 to 50 minutes in this match. Do I see him winning? No. Truth is going to find some way to get him. And little Mikey, you're going to get got. Just like little J Jimmy wants you to be. Seamus, the Great White. Well, I do like the face turn they put on Seamus. It's kind of turned him into a bit of a clown. 
I mean, this guy is a t former two-time WWE Champion. First pure-born, pure-blooded, Irish-born champion in company history. I know I would make a case for Mr. McMahon, but he's Irish-American, so I can't really count that. <coughs> Even if he only did hold the belt four days. Um, who has a Oh, yeah. Finally, that leads Randy Orton. Why do, I, why do I see him winning? Duh, St. Louis. It's his hometown. But then again, he is often fucked up on this. On this scenario. With, on this X Factor. I mean, 2007. San Antonio. Shawn Michaels was a hometown favorite. Got to the last two. Lost. 2009. I believe. No, it wasn't 2009. Two thousand nine. I mean, last year, John Cena got to as far as the final five. Yeah, it was five or six. Remember, Santino never got eliminated until the very end when the matches were starting. Do I see him winning this match? Maybe, but it would be redundant. He's already won it once. I don't think I'm going to really see any chance of Orton winning it again. Barrett's going to find some way to screw him. So, with that said, my best bets are Miz or Sheamus. Hmm. Ah, screw it. Give me the Great White to win the Royal Rumble. He goes to WrestleMania and becomes a three-time World Heavyweight Champion in Fella. Because this great white is on the chomp and b smells blood in the water. Well, while I may not get the Rumble event tomorrow night, that's it for me. I'm out. That's 2128. Sign out. Peace.